modern warfare, controlling the skies is no longer just about fighter jets. Today's aerial threats include stealth aircraft, cruise missiles, loitering munitions and unmanned drones operating at multiple altitudes and speeds. Facing these challenges, Iran has taken a different path. Instead of relying solely on static air defense installations, Iran has focused heavily on mobile, layered, and domestically produced air defense systems. In this video, we explore how Iran's mobile air defense strategy is adapting to evolving aerial threats and what this means for regional security. Traditional air defense systems are often fixed and predictable. Once detected, they can become vulnerable to preemptive strikes. Mobility changes that equation. Mobile air defense units can relocate quickly, avoid detection, operate unpredictably, and survive initial attack waves. For Iran, mobility is not optional, it's a necessity. With vast territory and diverse terrain, mobile systems allow rapid redeployment to protect key assets, cities, and military infrastructure. Over the past decade, Iran has accelerated its push toward domestically developed air defense technology. International sanctions and procurement restrictions forced Iranian engineers to design systems tailored to local needs. The result is a family of integrated systems rather than isolated weapons. Two systems stand out. Bavar-373, Iran's long-range air defense platform, and Kordad-15, a highly mobile medium-range system. Together, they form the backbone of Iran's layered defense approach. The Bavar-373 is often compared to advanced long-range systems used by major powers. Mounted on heavy transporter erector launchers, Bavar-373 features phased-array radar, long-range interceptors, and high-altitude engagement capability. Its mobility allows it to change position frequently, complicating enemy targeting. Iran claims the system can track and engage low observable aircraft and long-range threats. While real-world performance remains classified, Bavar-373 represents a significant leap in Iran's air defense architecture. Complementing long-range coverage is the Kordad-15 system. Designed for rapid deployment, Kordad-15 is optimized to counter cruise missiles, tactical aircraft, and drones. Its radar and fire control systems are integrated on mobile platforms, allowing engagement shortly after deployment. The system's ability to operate independently or as part of a network gives Iranian commanders tactical flexibility. This mid-layer is critical for intercepting threats that slip past long-range defenses. What makes Iran's air defense strategy effective is integration. Mobile systems are linked through command and control networks that allow data sharing between radars, coordinated target engagement, and redundant coverage. This layered approach means that an incoming threat must pass through multiple defensive zones, increasing interception chances. Iran has also emphasized decentralized control allowing units to operate even if higher-level communications are disrupted. Modern aerial threats are diverse and unpredictable. Iran's mobile systems are designed to counter low-flying cruise missiles, stealth aircraft with reduced radar signatures, and swarm drones and loitering munitions. By combining radar, electro-optical sensors, and electronic countermeasures, these systems attempt to maintain situational awareness even in contested environments. Iran's mobile air defense strategy is not about matching global powers technologically. It is about adaptation, resilience, and cost-effective defense. By prioritizing mobility, domestic production, and layered integration, Iran has built an air defense network designed to survive and respond under pressure. In a world of rapidly evolving aerial threats, flexibility may matter just as much as raw capability.